Donaldsonville Mayor Leroy Sullivan is hoping to stay on as mayor, but one person says he's been mayor long enough and it's time for new leadership to step in. Capital correspondent Chris Rosado looks at the upcoming election. Chris. Well, it's been over 20 years since Leroy Sullivan first became mayor of Donaldsonville, and the one person challenging him says he has some fresh ideas that he believes will help improve life in the city. Glenn Price is a military veteran who spent most of his adult life in Houston, but has recently returned home to Donaldsonville to bring new leadership to his hometown, and even started a local advocacy group three years ago called the Sunshine Community Group to help address the city's problems. A lot of what we had there in terms of recreation, in terms of our business community, we had lost. Price says the biggest problem that plagues the city and its leadership is complacency, pointing out that most of the local leadership have been in their positions for over 20 years. But he says his plan will help turn things around with things like a new hospital and new opportunities for young people to take advantage of and help keep them out of trouble. We used to have a, a youth summer job program. That's another part of my vision plan. We're going to bring that back. We're going to incorporate what you call municipal enterprise. Basically, the city itself is going to start businesses, build businesses, run businesses. But incumbent Mayor Leroy Sullivan says Donaldsonville is already seeing progress. I don't think that anyone should complain and say that uh, nothing is being done in the city of Donaldsonville when uh, between May of 2023 and May of 2024, I've received $34 million uh, for natural gas infrastructure replacement to replace the natural gas here in the city of Donaldsonville. I've received over $5 million for water sector to do some wastewater improvements in the last year and a half. Sullivan says his top priority, if re-elected, will be to finish replacing the natural gas infrastructure around the city. And he also says in order to get anything done, you have to be able to work with others who can see things through. I have those uh, relationships already, you know, with the parish president, Sheriff, all of us are working together. So if I'm reelected, I'll continue to do the things in order to make Donaldsonville thrive. So Glenn Price says somewhere between 35 to 40 percent of voters in the city don't even cast ballots anymore because according to him, they don't believe the city can do any better. But he says his campaign is talking to them and giving them a reason to vote. Guys, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. Let's get you to Denham Springs now where you'll be